Good morning everyone, welcome to today's vlog. So today, we are going to um, B&Q in a minute. So Jonathan's just going to the gym. Um, he's just gone to the gym now. So when he gets back, I'm just getting Olivia ready and Harrison. And then when he comes back, I'm gonna go to B&Q because we've got to get um, things to start the living room decorating. So actually like, we don't actually know what we're even getting. Like this is gonna be hilarious really, I'll be honest. But, um, we need to go and get stuff so we can start decorating, which means it's not going to be the start of the process of moving around them sofas and everything else. And it's going to be a hell of a process because we've got Olivia and Olivia doesn't let us do very much as it is. So <laughs> Jonathan will probably do the majority of the painting just because I'll have Olivia. And yeah, but I'm also going to pick, um, try and pick samples anyway for Harrison's bedroom. So we, I want to do like a sage green colour in his room somewhere. And we think we might do panelling in there as well. So I'm going to have a look at that today. You're so wild. I'm not going to fight it. Hypnotized. Stuck inside my mind because you got to you got to be something undefined for me. You're so wild. I'm not going to fight. Replay in my mind of you. Things you want. So I've got a couple of paint samples for the panel that I'm going to do on this wall for Harrison's bedroom makeover and I got these two, I got them from the Valsper range, um, that one's called Swan Lake and that one is called, I think it's called Creamy Mint, I need to double check the name of it, obviously they're very two different shades of green, I want to go for a very light sort of sagey green um, I think I'm going to more to more this one. So today I've decided that I'm going to crack on with Harrison's bedroom. So I've actually had a bit of a delay in the floor being laid because the guy who's fitting it is actually not very well at the moment. So it's going to be another week anyway. So I've actually got a little bit of time now because I was a bit concerned with my, doing my living room and Harrison's room at the same time. But yesterday I went to B&Q and I did manage to get um, the panel in uh, for his bedroom. And I also got two samples. I'll show you the samples in a second um, of what I painted on his wall to which one I'm going to pick. But I'm going to just crack on. The baby's having a nap, so I thought this is the perfect time. This is sort of something I wouldn't be able to do if she's awake. I'm just going to get on with it, and I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to put um, the panel in on the wall and start there, and then that can dry. But first of all, I need to clear his room because his room's an absolute mess. But, yeah, he's going to be moving out and going into Isabella's room for a week so that I can do this room up. Um, so yeah, because I'm going to get rid of his bed because I've got a new bed for him. So I'll show you that in a second, actually, because I got a real good bargain on that. I actually got it about a month ago. It's been in my downstairs toilet for ages, but I got a really good bargain on his bed and um, I'm really excited to be using it. Let me quickly show you, actually. This bed, so this is the, um, Cura bed from Ikea. I actually got this in, um, from Spock, you know, Spock, the app, when they sell secondhand things. I got this bed for £50. And the people that I got it from, absolutely lovely people. Um, and yeah, they're just lovely. They've looked after it really, really well. They had it for, I think they had a daughter. And um, that's what, who they had it for. But um, yeah, I am can't remember how this goes together now, to be honest, because I kind of undone it a little bit with them. And I can't remember because I've had it about a month. But I'm going to be putting that up. But I can't put that up until his room's decorated, floor's down. It's when the floor's down, that's what I've got to wait for. So this will be interesting. I'll have to go on YouTube and look up how you put this bed up. <laughs> but it was a really good bargain. It was like 50 quid. Um, and I don't know whether I'm just keeping it plain yet or whether I'm going to do up these panels. I think I might do up these panels. Um, but I'm going to put it up first in his room and see what would go with the colour scheme and stuff. And these are the panelling packs. If you remember, I used these for Isabella's room. This is the, uh, the MDF wall kit. And these were only £17 something. I've got two of these because I think if I remember rightly, I bought two for Isabella. Could be more wrong, it could be more. But I think I'll only need two for his wall. And that's the wall that's going to be like a sage green. So yeah, so I've got those ready to go. So I'm literally going to go upstairs, clear his room. And even if I only get his room cleared, it's fine, you know, while the baby naps. But if I can clear it and get this stuck on the wall while she's napping, then that would be a massive job done and ticked off my list. So let, let's just go and crack on, otherwise I'm never going to get it done. So here's the wall that I'm going to quickly paint over. So I'm just literally going to whitewash it. Well, 
white, put white over it to get rid of this. So I'm literally just going to do this area first. This will always ming in. <laughs> um, and then eventually I will take these stickers off and that up there. And then I can do the panelling. Once that's covered a bit more, I can do the panelling. Then I won't have to do as much paint once I've done the panelling. That's the reason why I'm kind of white doing a white wash first, if you like. So I'm going to quickly get on with that now. Someone told me this ain't love. There's no way you get into my heart. Someone told me gotta move on. Keep it together for you fall apart. Yeah. 
so I've just put on two coats of the green. It's called Swan Dance, that um, paint, the colour shade green I've gone for. And I've just put two coats on, so I don't know if you can see, but it looks really, really nice. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to leave it to dry and see if it needs another coat. And yeah, pretty happy with that. ignore the background today and my background and the noise um Jonathan's just literally taking up the floor in the carpet in Harrison's room and yeah we're just cleaning it up because the floor is getting laid tomorrow so so exciting but my house is an absolute tip I need to sort it out a little bit I've just done the school run so I'm gonna go and help Jonathan while the baby's having a nap and then yeah floor in tomorrow Okay, so this is Harrison's room at the moment. We've taken up his carpet, we've just ripped it up. It's so echoey in here, it's nuts. I need to clean this side of the skirting board. And I also noticed this was where the wardrobe was. It's all gonna be painted in here anyway, uh, on this side now. But there also is a bit that needs to be corked in the bit in the middle where it's, you know, like this kind of part, that's sort of where the house has probably just moved a bit. But yeah, so this is like the wall with the panel in, like I say, obviously you can't see it fully, but obviously the bed's out of here now, I've still got his desk in here, the wardrobe is going to Jonathan's sister, or her son's bedroom, because we're no longer going to have a wardrobe in here, because I'm going to sort his clothes out differently, I'm going to be putting them into the cupboard when I organise that with Isabella's clothes in her room, because, and then I'm also going to put some in, I'm going to try and put a different type of storage in here for some of his clothes, maybe in his Calax unit or whatever. Um, I'm going to work it out as I go, but the biggest thing I needed to do was get rid of this because it's a small room. He just didn't use it as much because he wears a lot of his school uniform and things like that normally. So to be honest, she's going to get down there. I'm out of breath. Um, so to be honest, I needed to get rid of that. Um, it's great space because it wasn't getting used to the best of what a wardrobe should be used for. Because uh, he's always in, like I say, he's in his school uniform, so that'll be hung in the other cupboard. And he has pajamas, things like that. When they go to school, they don't seem to have as much clothes as like they do when they're Olivia's age. So yeah, so that's the room at the moment of how it's looking. And um, we've mopped the floor and everything, so now we just need to paint this side of the room. Yeah, so now we just need to paint this side of the room. There's a cobweb up there. That's hilarious. Um, paint this side of the room, and then I think I'm going to have his bed going along here where the window is. I'm not sure yet. And if I am, I'm going to sort them blinds out because them toggles hang, so I don't want them to hang anymore. And yeah, we'll see how we go, because this might turn out totally different. But for now, the big wall's done, like the main wall, main feature wall. And then, like I say, I've just got to paint the rest white. And then the flooring's going down tomorrow, so I'm really, really excited um, to see what it looked like in here with, the, um, with everything complete now. And this is my landing, just to let you know. <laughs> This is what my landing currently looks like. So we can't see out here, but that's fine. This is what you call progress. It's a process and yeah, this is what happens when you do up a room in my house. Everything gets put in the landing. So it'll all be gone. And I also need to get a new mattress for him that goes with that Cura bed. But um, Olivia, what are you doing? What are you doing? So yeah, all a work in progress. It deserts me, you're all I think about sometimes. But baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna waste no time without you ever browning up my days. Never meant to fall so hard. Oh, love of mine, I don't wanna take no that you're not beside me. Let's just ignore my background state of me. I'm not very well. I've lost my voice. You'll hear Harrison, he's come back from school, so he'll be shouting in the background as well. But Basically, it's been a while since I last filmed anything for this vlog and that's just purely because I've not been well and also I have had other videos that I've been filming as well. So I feel a bit lost um, in everything and everything's sort of been all over the place. But I've started Harrison's bedroom now, so I've still got to, I've decided now I want to paint his bed a different colour, so I want to paint it maybe sage green. But I haven't got around to doing that yet. I've put all of his stuff back in so that he can stay in there. But it's nowhere near finished at all. I need a nice rug from there. I need to put things on the wall. I've got so much more to do in his room. But that's going to be in a, in another vlog. Which I did say it's going to take a while for me to sort of do these makeovers. Because it's a, I've got a lot going on. 
So for example, this weekend I'm going to the caravan and I've got to sort myself out for that and sort this house out before I go. So yeah, start of the half term is, is um, we're designed to go to, to the caravan for three nights. So that'd be lovely, but I've got so much to do. I just need to upload videos because I have literally filmed videos and I haven't uploaded any of them. So yeah, so that's where we're at. That's my front room flooring and Harrison's flooring. The reason I've done Harrison's flooring as vinyl as well is just because unfortunately my dog likes to use his room as a toilet. So I had to change his carpet and I've decided instead of giving her another carpet to do it on, I've just gone for vinyl and we're gonna do a massive rug and all of that. And I still, like I say, have to finish his room. So that will take a little bit of time because I'll be decorating for Christmas soon as well. So I hope you're excited about that. But I have literally this one video I've been filming recently for the last three days, it's taken up my entire life. <laughs> So I hope you appreciate that when that video comes, which you will, because it's so exciting. I'm so excited. But yeah, I've not been very well. Um, obviously, I, I've lost my voice. I've kind of got like a flu. But on top of that, I do actually have other really like health problems. Maybe I'll catch up with that in another video, because obviously, you know, I have polycystic kidney disease. Um, but basically, long story short, I have high blood pressure at the moment. So it's a bit, it's a bit concerning. So yeah, I will get up to speed with everything. I'm hoping I do anyway. But I'm going to show you the rugs I've got. So I've got two rugs from the range, and I'm going to show you it now. Although Olivia's toys will be everywhere, but that's just real life. I might put them to the side if they are, just so that I can show you the rugs. Yeah, so I don't know how the lighting's going to be when I show you the rugs, because it's a really rainy day, so it's really dark and gloomy in his house. But, um, yeah, I'll quickly show you those. Um, and, yeah, if there's toys everywhere, that's just real life. I wouldn't be tidying them up to show you that I haven't got toys because they're literally around my house all day, every day. But I might move them out of the way just so you can see the rugs. Um, but they're really, really nice anyway. So yeah, let me go and show you the rugs now. It's not really gonna be a perfect moment to show you these, but I've got a runner rug here. I got these from the range and they're so beautiful. And if I can try and show you, it's sort of, if I show you this way, for example, it looks different in different lights. So it's one of those um, sort of marble, whatever you call them, rugs. Um, I don't know if you can see it properly because the lighting is shocking. But as you can see, you can put more like grey through it, you know, and things like that. I like it in the light sort of way. But let me put this in here down. So, yeah, so this is basically the rug. And I've got another rug, just the exact same in the living room area here. It's hard to show you. It is beautiful and it just it, it covers this area so that when she's playing and things like that, and it's just nice and soft on the feet. But if you can see what I mean... It sort of changes. It is beautiful. I absolutely love these rugs. Olivia's going to show you the rug. But this is it here. And it's not as big as the whole area that I want. This is my flooring, by the way. I don't know. I've showed you anyway. But I've obviously got the flooring all the way through, um, as I was showing you. Um, and it's just much easier to maintain and have rugs instead. So, keeping it real. This is it over here. So, as you can see, in different lights, you see this rug in different ways. It's really bad lighting to show you the absolute amazing quality of this rug, but it's so, so nice. It really, really is. Um, and yeah, it's just so pretty and it fits this space perfectly. So if we're keeping it real, this is what my sofa looks like at the moment, <laughs> which has got the dog on it and that's where Olivia sits. And she's also playing with her toys. <laughs> so that's, that's keeping it real. These are the rugs anyway. Um, I'm sure you'll see them a lot in a cleaning video, but normally I would have this out as well. Um, in the middle, but obviously at the moment, um, I like to put it to the edge because Olivia can walk around it and it's quite safe. But yeah, that is my rugs from the range. Yeah, so I hope you liked my rugs um, and all of that. But yeah, so basically I've got the rugs in there. They look so much better, I think, than they do on camera in person. But the lighting around here is really dark. It's like really raining here. So um, the lighting's pretty bad. But I'll probably show you another cleaning videos and you'll see a better look of the entire area in the living room. But yeah, that's me started Harrison's bedroom and obviously all of that. So I will be doing another vlog where I'll be continuing with Harrison's bedroom makeover and the living room. It's going to be a bit of a slow process because like I said, I'm not being very well. But I'll end it here now. If you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on my very next video. Bye.